A clover leaf interchange is a two level interchange in which left turns are handled by ramp roads. To go left, vehicles first continue as one road passes over or under the other, then exit right onto a one way three fourths loop ramp and merge onto the intersecting road. The objective of a clover leaf is to allow two highways to cross without the need for any traffic to be stopped by red lights, even for left and right turns. The limiting factor in the capacity of a clover leaf interchange is traffic weaving. Overview Clover leaf interchanges, viewed from overhead or on maps, resemble the leaves of a four leaf clover. In the United States, clover leaf interchanges existed long before the interstate system. They were originally created for busier interchanges that the original diamond interchange system could not handle. Their chief advantage was that they were free-flowing and did not require the use of such devices as traffic signals. This not only made them a viable option for interchanges between freeways, but they could also be used for very busy arterials where signals could present congestion problems. They are common in the United States and have been used for over 40 years as the interstate highway system expanded rapidly. One problem is that, frequently, large trucks exceeding the area speed limit roll over. Another problem is the merging of traffic. For these reasons, clover leaf interchanges have become a common point of traffic congestion at busy junctions. At grade clover leaf configurations with full four leaves and full outside slip ramps are extremely rare, though one exists in Toms River, New Jersey. Any other intersection with merely one, two, or three leaf ramps with outer ramps would not be designated a clover leaf and simply be referred to as a Jafandal or Park Long intersection. History The first clover leaf interchange patented in the U.S. was by Arthur Hale, a civil engineer in Maryland, on February 29, 1916. Several clover leaf interchanges were built in the late 1920s. However, it is unclear which was first. A modified clover leaf, with the adjacent ramps joined into a single two way road, was planned in 1927 for the interchange between Lakeshore Drive and Irving Park Road in Chicago, Illinois, but a diamond interchange was built instead. The first clover leaf interchange built in the United States was the Woodbridge clover leaf at intersection of the Lincoln Highway and Amboy Euro now St. Georgesa Euro Avenue in Woodbridge Township, New Jersey. It opened in 1929 and has been replaced with a partial clover leaf interchange. The original clover leaf interchange was designed by the Rudolph and Delano building firm from Philadelphia, and was modeled after a plan from Buenos Aires, Argentina. The first clover leaf west of the Mississippi River opened on August 20, 1931, at Watson Road and Lindbergh Boulevard near St. Louis, Missouri, as part of an upgrade of US 66. This interchange, however, has since been replaced with a diamond interchange. The clover leaf was patented in Europe and Switzerland on October 15, 1928. The first clover leaf in Europe opened in October 1935 at Slussen in central Stockholm, Sweden, followed in 1936 by Skoditzer near Leipzig, Germany. This is now the interchange between the A9 and A14, and has a single flyover from the westbound A14 to the southbound A9. Kamina Kreuz was the first in continental Europe to open fully in 1937, at A1 and A2 near Dortmund, Germany. Problems A point of conflict is the merging of exiting and entering traffic in the same lane, known as weaving. Weaving limits the number of lanes of turning traffic. Most road authorities have since been implementing new interchange designs with less curved exit ramps that do not result in weaving. These interchanges include the diamond, Parkla and single point urban interchanges when connecting to an arterial road in non free flowing traffic on the crossroad, and the stack or clover and stack hybrids when connecting to another freeway or to a busy arterial in free flowing traffic where signals are still not desired. Not only are these ideas true for new interchanges, but they also hold when existing clover leaf interchanges are upgraded. In Norfolk, Virginia, the interchange between US 13 and US 58 was originally a clover leaf R Euro. It has since been converted to SPUI. Also, many clover leaf interchanges on California freeways, such as US 101, are being converted to parklaws. In Hampton, Virginia, 
a clover leaf interchange between Interstate 64 and Mercury Boulevard has been partially unwound into a partial stack interchange. During 2008 and 2009, Four clover leaf interchanges along I 64 US 40 in St. Louis, Missouri were replaced with SPUIs as part of a major highway renovation project to upgrade the highway to interstate standards. A compromise is to add a collector distributor road next to the freeway. This doesn't eliminate weaving but moves it off the main lanes of the freeway. An example of this is the State Highway 23 Interstate 43 interchange in Sheboygan, Wisconsin where the exit entrance roads on and off Highway 23 are two lanes next to the main I-43 freeway on the north and southbound sides of the road. A few clover leaf interchanges in California have been rebuilt to eliminate weaving on the freeway while keeping all eight loop ramps, by adding bridges, similar to braided ramps. Several clover leaf interchanges have been eliminated by adding traffic lights on the non-freeway route. Sometimes, this is even done at the intersection of two freeways, particularly when one freeway terminates at an interchange with another. An example of this is in Lakewood, Washington, at the interchange between Interstate 5 and Washington State Route 512, where a visible ramp stub shows that one of the four leaves was removed, thus eliminating weave on I-5. In the future, the traffic signal will be replaced by a two-lane flyover completing the freeway-to-freeway -freeway interchange once again. Clover leaf interchanges also tend to occupy much more land than any other kind of interchange. Numerous clover leaf intersections in the lower mainland of British Columbia, Canada require the merging of traffic from the clover directly onto the collector-distributor lane. This requires the slowly moving driver coming around the roundabout to merge with the quickly moving driver exiting on the collector distributor lane with no opportunity to accelerate to match the flow of the oncoming driver. The speed differential in merging can be as great as 65 km per hour. The clover leaf interchange was not implemented in great numbers in the United Kingdom, because of these performance problems. There were originally three, one in Redditch and two in Livingston. One of the Livingston examples was remodeled in the mid-2000s as part of a public transport project. The major junction of the M11 and A14 at the Girton Interchange near the outskirts of Cambridge consists of two clover leaf loops, making essentially a half-clover leaf interchange. This junction is prone to heavy traffic congestion at peak times, chiefly due to the requirement for westbound A14 traffic to exit the main dual carriageway, traverse one of the clover leaf loops at slow speeds, and then engage in weaving with traffic exiting the M11, in order to continue westward along the A14. In Ireland, a partial clover leaf setup exists at the interchange of the N4 and the M50 in Dublin, allowing free flow movements in all directions. A similar design has been implemented at the M7 per meter 50 interchange. See also, partial clover leaf interchange, continuous flow intersection. References External links, media related to clover leaf interchanges at Wikimedia Commons, 40.571694 a degree and 74.292796 a degree we slash 40.571694. Minus 74.292796 map of the Woodbridge, NJ clover leaf, 39.978943 a degree and 74.182783 a degree we slash 39.978943. Minus 74.182783 map of the Toms River, NJ at Great Clover Leaf, UK based discussion on clover leaf interchanges.